Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Skyblock series. Today's episode is episode 78, and we are starting things back off in a beautiful world uh, with a little friend right here. I mean, look at this little guy. Um, yeah, in the last episode we worked on uh, a lot of stuff with the frogs. Uh, we actually got quite a good setup now going on in the nether. Um, and we started to set up actually a little bit of a system here to hopefully catch some snow. Um, so yeah, you can see there's like a lot of cauldrons here and what I'm hoping is gonna happen that at some point uh, it's gonna rain and since this area right here is actually a snowy plains it should snow instead of rain and then these cauldrons should slowly but surely fill up with snow uh, which we can harvest and make powdered snow out of or something like that and then we can place that in our magma cube farm and that will kill the magma cubes um, so that they can be eaten by the frogs that's kind of the idea here uh, but there's one really big problem with this whole idea and that is that I need to wait until it snows or that at least rains of course um which yeah that, that just kind of happens randomly of course i don't really think there's any way for me to you know force that to happen now luckily it doesn't happen like um super rarely like it does happen every now and then uh, but we still kind of have to wait until that happens before we can really continue on with this whole project um, so that leaves me kind of in an in-between state with this project and uh, it is kind of the only project that we have going on in this series right now so I was a bit uh, by myself like well what, what do I do until it rains you know because I cannot go to the nether now um, you know the second it rains I need to be here to see it happen and stuff like that uh, so I cannot really do any work on the nether side of this project um, which, yeah, oh, I need to cut that. I don't know why that keeps happening now again. It's kind of annoying. It, I really don't have any idea. Uh, I'm gonna try and figure out something uh, before the next episode how I can fix that. But yeah, I do believe that the, that will just keep on happening. But oh well. Anyway, ignoring that. Um, uh, I now need to find something to do in the overworld while we're waiting for, you know, it to rain. Um, is it me or are those minecarts going really fast? Like, I swear they weren't going that yeah, fast before. Oh well, anyway, I'm getting distracted le left, right, and center. Um, now, since we don't have any projects going on right now, it's, yeah, for me to uh, think of something new, I guess. And the thing I wanted to try and do in today's episode is actually um, make it so that we have a switch for the mob cap. So that we can kind of turn on and off the mob cap, so to say. Um, since I think that would be quite handy, you know, maybe in the future I need more rockets again Then um, I need the creeper farm to work. So then I need to be able to turn that thing on um, And maybe for something else as well. Maybe I need more slime in the future anything like that, right? Uh, I feel like it is a quite a good idea to at least have the possibility to turn the mob um, Cap on or off so to say so that's exactly what we're gonna be working on in today's episode I think I'm gonna turn down their noise uh, because that's gonna get annoying really quickly but yeah really all we need to do is just couple uh, remove a couple of these guys from the mob cap and then of course mobs will start spawning immediately um, which is actually not that difficult to do I mean of course we can kill them or we can give them an item in order to do that uh, but those are both not really good ideas because then they're permanently removed from the mob cap and we don't want exactly that um, but what we can also do is actually pop them into minecarts um, so yeah that's of course what we're gonna do because we can also get them out of minecarts at any point in time if we want to uh, so that's exactly what we're gonna do but it's not super simple to make a system for that I don't think it's at least gonna be super simple uh, so we're just gonna try and figure something out for it in today's episode and yeah see if it is gonna work now of course when we store those guys we want them to be stored really close to um, the other area or where the uh, normal ones are because we don't really have a reason um, to make them be further away, so to say. And what I think I'm actually going to do is just have a couple of them, um, like, how do I say this, in a different box. So, like, maybe five or ten. So, you know, the ones that get put into the minecarts, 
they will be separated from the normal ones even when they're not in the minecarts just because that makes it a lot easier to get them in and out of the minecarts i would say and we're gonna of course use detector reels in order to get them out of the minecarts that's how getting them out will be uh, but the main problem is of course getting them into the minecarts reliably that i would say is really you know an actual challenge but i think we could make a, a pretty good system for that it should be quite possible but yeah we got this box right here which i think should be big enough to make a system for it we're of course gonna cover it with blocks as well because we don't want to accidentally just murder uh, our lovely little guys there so yeah let's get this on top of it so that they don't burn to death uh, there we go and then oh yeah let's also actually keep this thing turned on while we're um, working on all of this i mean yeah this is uh, a, a very easy way to get just a good amount of cobblestone uh, and stone because we are definitely gonna need that for some of the projects that are coming up so yeah, better to start harvesting that already we are now gonna hear a boom every now and then unfortunately because of that but uh, that's fine that's fine now i don't know if we actually have any gold left laying around or golden um uh, what are they called again the 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 the, the and the, those rails you know i don't i don't remember their name uh power drills power drills yeah i don't think we have any of that laying around which is quite unfortunate because we of course need that uh, for this whole system we do have some here but i'm not gonna take those uh but yeah we do need some of it i think in order to pick up the um some birds, the zombie guys, in order to pick them up, it will be a lot easier with power drills, I would say. So, let's quickly actually turn this thing off again. And go into the nether. Because we need to harvest some gold in order to get that um, power drill supply up. Luckily, I do believe that the gold farm is pretty decently fast right now. Uh, let's see, did I? Yeah, I do have actually a little bit of mag cream here. That's not too bad can increase the size of this platform a little bit again ow that was painful all right there we go now uh, we'll just place like five blocks here why not there we go uh and yeah i do believe this thing is not terribly slow but it's also not really the fastest thing ever yet unfortunately but oh well uh at least it works right there we go oh yeah the sound is of course turned off right now I don't know if there was already any gold in this chest. Oh, there was actually a pretty decent amount already in there. That's not bad at all. Maybe we should have like a crafting table here. Um, we'll place it right there. With a button on top. There we go. So that we can also craft our gold, of course, while we're in here. So, boom. And, oh, I just got pushed around. There we go. We're already at 12, which should mean 12 power drills. That actually might already be enough. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, that's definitely not a bad amount or anything like that. Are we going to really clock up this thing with a rotten flash right now? Oh, it is a little bit clocked up, to be fair. Oh, well. Um, we might have to, you know, increase the size of this. Uh, oh, how is that not being picked up right now? Oh, that's fair. Uh, yeah, we might have to increase the size of this um, storage system we got here. But that, that can come later. It's not that important right now. Um, we'll do that when we actually start making this gold farm super efficient. Because as you can see, it's not super efficient just yet. But it's getting there. It's definitely already a little bit better than what it was. Um, let's see. There we go. Now we got 12. That's all we need for now. Boom, boom. But yeah, once we get this thing over here really, um, like, overpowered and stuff like that, I do believe we should start seeing a good increase in our magma, of course, uh, which will make this platform a lot bigger, and then hopefully we can make that gold farm into something way, way better than it is right now. And then with that, we can do a lot of bartering, because that's the whole idea with all of that. That cloud really looks like it's like some sort of island. Oh well, I'm getting distracted. Let's quickly go ahead and sleep the night away and drink a little bit of water. There we go. Uh, I do believe that should not have any impact on whether or not it starts raining anytime soon. So yeah, we're fine with sleeping away the water. Of course, we don't want to sleep the second it is uh, actually raining. Because that will just get rid of the rain. But it was not raining right now, so it's fine. 
Right, there we go. We can now turn this thing back on, actually. So let's immediately do that. Oh, goodness. Ooh. It came a little bit close there. There we go. Uh, hopefully, this thing is still burning right now. Ooh, oh, no. Oh, no. It's not filled right now. Ooh, we're losing out on some goodies right there. That's not good. That's not good. Don't I have a sticks chest? Yes, I do. Nice. All right, let's make some powered rails here. Boop. Oh, I managed to mess that up. There we go. And the the rails. I do believe you need a bit of pressure plate for that. How we're doing here. Oh, look at that. That's actually pretty damn good. Look at that. Nice. Uh, are they getting filled up here? No. Okay, but that's a good amount of stuff to already be having right now, I would say. Uh, so how do you make those things again? Oh, I can make that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, I'm getting distracted. Activate the rail. Um, is that what I needed? Oh yeah, that is what I needed. I don't need stone at all, actually. Uh, I was thinking about those pressure plate rails, but those are not the ones I'm going for right now. Alright, so all I need is a bit of iron. A bit of a sticky. Uh, we'll make like four. And then it's just a matter of doing this, I guess. And this. That's a weird recipe. Okay, I might have made a little bit much, but... I'm sure it will come in useful, um, or it will become useful later on as well. So I'm not not upset about that or anything. All right, there we go. And let's see, my inventory is a bit of a mess. I cannot lie. I guess my obsidian can go into the miscellaneous chest. I feel like that just about makes enough sense. And you know what? We'll put the magma cream in here as well. This is right now not that useful. Let's actually keep our inventory a little bit like clean and stuff because it's starting to come, become a bit of a mess here and I do not appreciate that. Alright, there we go. And all the other stuff can kind of stay, I guess. I really need to turn this into an infinity bow. Oh, I got rid of my enchanting table, I guess. Oh, that's not super smart of me. Uh, but I do believe I can just make a new one real quick. I want to I wanna try and get infinity. You know what? We'll, 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 I'm getting really distracted right now. Um, we'll do that at some point um, when all of this is finished. Alright, there we go. So, uh, I think we're going to make some levers. And we're going to do this. And this. And maybe a little bit less. There we go. And let's try and create some sort of system here, right? So, I think we kind of need them to be on a loop here. Or, well, not on a loop, but this thing right here is to um, kind of catch the, the zombie villagers into the minecart, so to say. So, we go like that. Surely that will be fine. And then we just do this here and this here. There we go. So, yeah, this is to catch them. Of course, when I put uh, some uh, minecarts on this and the villagers walk towards this area, they will be picked up. So, that should work. Um, and then what we will do is turn on this or turn off that in order to kind of get like this, right? Then it will go on top of that. And then over here we'll have a little um, rail system that is like, uh, let's see, like, you know, activate the rail so they, they get sent off of it. And then those minecarts get sent back. But I do believe... This doesn't boost the minecart. Let me see real quick. I don't really know how that works. We might need some power drills in between all of those. Um, let's get some minecarts going. Uh, boop. Boop, boop. And we'll go for five. I think five sh should... Should I go for more? Uh, let's just start out with five. See how that works. Of course, the more um, monsters are removed from the mob cap, the more monsters will be able to spawn. Uh, but yeah, all right. So that doesn't seem to boost it. Okay, good to know. So then we'll do this and we'll do this. There we go. We'll just yoink a couple of these because this doesn't need to be that much. I literally yoinked the only ones that were needed in order to power the whole thing. But it's, that's fine. We'll just ignore that. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll have to give them some speed still, of course. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's why I made so many levers, because then I didn't need to worry about just placing them everywhere. I felt like that was quite a good idea here. Alright, so let's test this out a little bit, right? Let's say I have my cart on here. This thing should be keeping going around. Yep, alright. So when I turn this one on, it goes on there. It sends out the zombie, and then it goes back on there. Uh, and it keeps enough speed to keep on going, which is important. 
I think we can actually get away with maybe having a little bit less here because yeah, look at that, it didn't have enough speed there anymore. So we'll just do it like that. And now I think it should keep on having enough speed. Even when it gets sent out straight away. Of course it gets way more speed when it is on that track the whole time, but this seems to work. All right, cool. So that works. All I need to do in order to get the zombies out of the mine guards is flick that lever. Um, but what we have right now is of course that the minecart is kind of keeping on going right now here. Which is not actually optimal because then even when they get sent out it kind of just gets picked up again I guess. But if we turn this off then it should get stuck here. But then my question kind of becomes like what happens when we get multiple minecarts on here right? Like we kind of want this all to be on a loop. But when they... Uh, not much really happens right now. I guess they just kind of get stuck in repeat here. Yeah, just a little bit too much it appears. But I can just turn this one off as well, I suppose. And then they're all kind of stuck. But then the question is, what will happen when I turn back on that lever? So, we're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. But let's say I do this. Ah, uh, that doesn't do anything. Alright, that's good to know. Uh, because we can make it so that it does have to make something happen. But let's quickly go like this. And like, yeah, now of course something does happen. So what we're going to do here is we're going to place glass on top of this row of uh, thingies. Because now the zombie villagers are not capable of going in there. But they will not suffocate when they are in the minecarts, you know. And the second we turn this one off... Like all of them off here. We should eventually see all of the minecarts ending up in the system here. Yeah, there we go. And then they're, yeah, and then they're there. So that's good. And then when I want to, you know, not make them be there, I can just notch one of them. I turn on the levers and I notch one of them. I think that's a pretty good system. It's like not perfect. It's not, you know, uh, I flick one lever and the mob cap is filled or the mob cap is not filled. That it's not. Maybe there is some way to do that, but, but I don't really exactly know how I would do that. And this this is fine. I'm not gonna turn on and off the mob cap all that often. So yeah, I'm okay with this. Um now I need to get five zombies in there, of course. Which is not that's easier said to be than done, let's be few honest here. But I think what I'm gonna do is just go like this. Uh, we got some glass already in there, that's pretty good. There we go. Uh, the reason I'm placing glass here is because I'm gonna remove some blocks there. Uh, but I cannot, you know, remove them too quickly because then some of the zombies will pick up those blocks and then they are also removed from the map cap. But since I can break glass and it will not drop a block, that's kind of like my safety block. There we go. I don't know if I've explained that perfectly, but yeah, now I can pick this up and they will pick it up. So that's kind of the idea here. Uh, and now I need to magically get five of them to be in that box, I guess. Uh, which actually I have a very good idea on how I can do that. I just turn these on. There we go. And uh, yeah, they do this. This is not perfect, let's be real honest. But I do think each and every minecart will eventually go past this point. So then it's good, I suppose. Or maybe not. Oh, how on earth did that happen? Wait, what? Did they change something with... How did that ha How did it get derailed? Are you, are you kidding me here? I've never seen a minecart get derailed like that before. Wait, what? I do believe I'm in the version where they changed some parts with the minecart, but I, I didn't know that was possible. But don't tell me my system is flawed because of that, right? I mean, I could just put them in boats as well, I know. But the problem with the whole boat thing is that I cannot get them out of the boats. Because the boats, you know, in order to get them out of the boats, I think the only way I can do that is destroy the boat. And when I destroy the boat, then, you know, they pick up the boat, so that doesn't work. So that's why I'm a bit worried about that. Um, I'm just gonna... Oh, I didn't mean to fall down here. I'm just gonna do this. And how many ever, however many go in here is fine. Because I can lure them out again. There we go. I just wait until the minecarts are all filled up, I guess. There, one more to go. Hopefully that one eventually goes around the corner as well. 
might take a little bit, but yeah, there we go. All right, we got five in there, and now I just lure them back in here. Quite easy. This is not too hard so far. Uh, uh, although they might get stuck because of the rails. Of course, they cannot play a fight over rails, so this is a little bit hard for them, I suppose. But there's also always a way out of that. We can just place a block in there in a second. Come on, buddy. You can. I know you can do it. All right. You cannot do it, I guess. Oh, there we go. There we go. Add a boy. All right. Boom. And now what we do is we make a little um, like system here. All right. You can climb over there. There you go. And now I just need to wait for them to fall in, I guess. Uh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> that worked. All right. Cool. Uh, now we can remove this one again. I don't know exactly how this happened, but it appears to be fine. Let's quickly go ahead and sleep the night away again and drink some more water. There we go. Oh, I do love the frogs just being on the background. We got a lot of frogs in here now, by the way, because I, <laughs> I bred them all. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> all right um, so yeah we now have these guys in here so that's good we can now do this uh, and we can get rid of the glass because that's of course no longer needed and now i'm curious oh I'm, maybe i should not have gotten rid of the glass yet i'm curious if the creeper farm is now working all right i don't think it's working right now um is there any way for me to test this? I mean, it's almost failed here. So there's 62 in here. I mean, I guess I can just kind of wait and see. But I'm going to assume it's not working right now. Because there should have been a spawn quite quickly. And yeah, there's nothing in here right now. So I'm going to assume it's not working. Which means I need more creepers in here. Um, which is not great because, or I need more zombie villagers, which is not great because I did not uh, fit another bit because I just removed the glass. So now I need to do all of that again, which is fine. It's just a little bit stupid of me. Uh, pop, 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 pop. There we go. Get some more over here. I technically don't need the whole thing to be glass, but it just looks better, doesn't it? There we go. Alright, so we need some more minecarts in there. We're gonna slowly but surely turn the amount up. I hope this doesn't break it, because five appear to be almost breaking it already, which is quite crazy, but oh well. Like, I don't even know what's going on here anymore, but there we go. And... Yeah, I guess I need to get rid of this block. There we go. Um, I don't know if seven is gonna be the magic jump number yet. Uh, but there's only one way to find out, I suppose. And this time around, I will actually make it so that once I do know, I don't... Yeah, that only then I get rid of them. Alright, I'm gonna assume they're already in there. Because that went quite quickly. So let's just see. If I go down here, give it maybe like a couple of seconds. We should see immediately some creeper spawning in here, which doesn't appear to be happening at all. And I'm gonna assume that it's not happening because this thing is still empty. Maybe I should like turn this system off for now, I suppose. So just by doing this, um, even when there is gunpowder coming in, it will not turn itself on because the moment it turns on, of course, it will get rid of that gunpowder. So then I cannot actually see if anything happened. But it doesn't appear that anything is happening just yet. So I'm gonna assume that the map cap is still filled. So I'm gonna make a couple more minecarts. Two more. There we go. Let's see if we can remove enough now. Yep. Alright, this appears to be all working quite nicely so far. And let's see what's happening now. Maybe I'm a bit too close at this point, to be fair. So let's just fly over here. Uh, I'm gonna assume that none of these are filling up the mob cap because they're in minecarts, right? Oh, they're not in minecarts. Oh, well, okay. Um, that just explained a lot. Alright, I did not realize that these idiots were not in minecarts. We need to put them in minecarts straight away. They are, of course, also, you know, contributing to the mob cap right now. 
I, yeah, wow. <laughs> Oh goodness! Oh my goodness! I cannot. I, I can't believe that I forgot about that. Um, all right, let's just get rid of them both for now. I cannot believe I got forgot about that. If I just do this, right? Will you go in? Will you go in, please? Is there a way for me to force him in? Oh no, there's not. I can name them all, I suppose. I mean, some of them are already holding an item, which is pretty good. Uh, but I'm going to assume that they will not all hold items. Or are, did this guy just pick it up? I cannot tell. Look the other way, please. Oh, he did pick it up. Wait, will they all pick it up? Because they're like traded villagers. Oh, this might work. It appears that they are actually all picking it up. Because there's no way I got so lucky that they they just randomly all decided to pick it up. Yeah, I think because they are traded villagers, they're automatically capable of picking up items since they are not capable of despawning anyway. But I do believe the moment that I do give them an item, um, they are removed from the map cap still. So this should help us, you know, at least remove them off from the map cap, but at the same time yeah yeah uh, yeah this should work this should work i think now i still don't know if the number of villages that i got right now in um side of the uh my guards are actually the good amount because you know uh there might have been less needed but since there's more in here yeah that did i might have been miscalculation there but that's fine if we go a little bit over the number that's not a bad thing I'm just a bit worried, worried whether or not these villagers are actually still counting towards the map cap or not. Because I don't fully understand how all of this is working. Seeing as they can all pick up an item, I'm a bit more worried about it than I would normally be. But let's just see, right? I mean... Surely by now a creeper would have spawned if they could. So I'm gonna assume that the map cap is still too full. But I'm very doubtful that this is the amount of villagers needed for that. But maybe it is. I don't know. It's hard to tell right now. It's really hard to tell. We'll just add two more minecarts. Because why not? Right? This thing is still not filled. Yep. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Bit of a miscalculation there on my flying. There we go. Uh, we'll put the miner there, the miner there. Then they pick up the zombie villagers immediately. Nice. Now we'll give it a bit more time again. I kind of. Oh, oh! I think I saw something. I think I'm seeing something. I'm pretty sure that it's a skeleton, though. Yeah, it's a skeleton, but it's something. All right, I forgot to place down trap doors in the creeper farm. Which is quite incredible, because that's like the whole thing with a creeper farm, how it works. Um, but in all fairness, it wasn't creative, so I kind of just forgot. We'll just do that manually right now. I'm not going to cheat to do that again, because I don't need to. Um, so yeah, we're going to just quickly do that right now. But we got a skeleton here, so that is a proof of concept. We actually have two. So that means it appears that they... Oh, we have three. Well, that either means that... Wow, they're... Actually, not all that weak. Alright, there we go. So, that either means that um, the mob cap is now subtracting free. So, there's free spots in the mob cap. Or it means they chunk spawned or like uh, lost the spot or something like that. Uh, meaning that, yeah, they spawned all three at the same time. Uh, and there was only one spot in the mob cap. But either way, the mob cap is now no longer fully filled. And there's like space for one to three mobs, it appears. So that's good. That means that how it is right now, the creeper farm would be turned on. Will it be slow? Yeah, it will be super, super slow. Like, <laughs> ridiculously slow. Uh, but it will work. And that's the part, that, the part that matters. And the same goes for, for example, like slimes. It The world can now spawn slimes again. Which is something we do not like in this world, but it's now possible again. So if I for some reason in the future need slime balls, I can at least turn back on the slime spawning. Which is something that is quite nice. Now, I need to make sure that every single block here actually has a chapter on it. But I'm pretty certain I did a pretty good job with that. So, yeah, that's nice. Alright. 
And now what we should see is the moment I go out of this thing and... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Are you... <sighs> Alright. Hold on. And, uh, I will go and fly away for a bit. Grab some new of those things. And um, then what we should see is the gunpowder amount increasing. So that's cool. Uh, let's get my fortune pickaxe. There we go. Nice. Nice. Uh, this one looks fully grown. That one looks fully grown. Fully grown. Fully grown. A lot of these are actually fully grown, so that's pretty good. Like, look at the amount of things we got right now. This one isn't fully grown, but we'll still give shards now. Okay, so I've, I've actually been fully correct on which ones were fully grown. 100%. I'm quite proud of myself right now. I have a pretty good eye for this, I guess. There we go. Alright, beautiful. And that will allow us to make some more of that uh, tinted glass. Because one managed to fall off. Now I hope nothing has broken in my world because a singular slime has spawned somewhere. Because that's definitely a possibility. It has happened before. I need to check like absolutely everything in a second on slime balls. But yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm I'm an idiot. Why did I make so much tinted glass? I only needed two. Oh well. Uh, it's it's fine. Uh, was it in here? Yes, it was. All right, nice. So what we should see, as I said, was some creeper spawning in here. I mean, it is probably super slow. I hope no slime spawned anywhere. But this thing, it's not filled. Filled. Uh, was there by chance any slimes that spawned somewhere before the creepers had a chance? Because that is kind of something we need to be worried about. Oh no, it's just normal mobs in here. Alright, that makes sense. That makes sense. Let me just like fly in this direction for a little bit. It should hopefully allow them to despawn. And let's just try to... like. Oh, I see a slime. Oh, I hate these things. Alright, let's just sleep the night away actually first. I see a lot of mobs spawning. Okay, I guess the mob cap is a little bit less filled than I thought. Let's drink some water as well. Guess the mob cap is a little bit less filled than I expected it to be. Alright, I'm just gonna fly a couple hundred blocks in this direction. Um, because then everything will despawn. There we go, that should have in theory really done the trick. All I want to see is just some gunpowder appear, that's all that matters to me. Now we need to be very careful with turning off the mob switch if I'm being honest. I mean look at how immediately just everywhere slimes are spawning. Um, no farms can really be running while we turn the mob cap off I guess because of the slimes. But I just need to know that the creeper farm is working. I mean I'm gonna assume it is. There we go. There we go. Okay nice. So the creeper farm it works again when I turn off the mob cap. Good, 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 good. And we should see this increase in a second. Unless I somehow manage to mess that part up. Which appears to be the case. Somehow. Unless all of those creepers just magically didn't drop any gunpowder. Which I don't think it would happen. I mean there's a guy still in there. but Let's see here. Um, I will just put one lead in here. And see if it ends up on the hopper. Uh, yeah, okay, and there is now gunpowder in there. Alright, cool. So, it does work now. Okay, good, 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 good. Yep, alright, so we have turned off the mob cap and it has made the creeper farm work again. That's the thing that we were after here, so that is nice. Let's also do this real quick. Good, and yeah, I need to check all my farms on slime balls in a second. But let's just see if we can actually turn this thing back on again successfully as well. I don't have any glass anymore, hold on. Ow. Uh, there we go. Woohoo! Oh, wow, that was quite, quite gentle in a way. Oh. Oh, I did not expect this to happen, if I'm being honest. I don't even know how that's possible. Anyway, I guess it's kind of fine. Um, let's just give them... Oh, I did not expect that. Um, let's see. Ah, there we go. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go like this. And then hopefully we should see them all just kind of jumping in in a second. 
I didn't block that thing off. Oh, I'm stupid. It's all right. I should be fast enough here now. Whoop. Nice. There we go. Only you are left. Come on, buddy. Just jump in. Just jump in. It's the fastest way. Believe me. Believe me. Everyone is in there. Come on. You can do it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right. He's uh, he's a bit annoying, I guess. Just like those minecarts. My goodness. All right. Let's also just turn those off, I guess. Now we're really living in quiet. Right, boop. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> I could not be bothered with that. <laughs> Alright, uh, so. Here we have the big deal with these guys. I don't really know how they got stuck to begin with, but that is not the biggest issue here. Uh, I think... Ow! Ow! I did not expect you to be able to hit me from there. Oh, oops. Ow! Okay, that works. Cool. If I just do this, right? And then turn it back on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How did this even manage to happen? I mean, can I, like, push them? Oh, th that doesn't even work. Can I... What? How is this possible? What on earth happened here? Can I... I cannot... I cannot push them at all. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Hey. How? <laughs> I can... <sighs> Can I lead the minecart? No. Okay, let's just yeah, jump in. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, no, 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 no. That is just gonna push me to my death. And nothing changed at all. Are you serious? How is this possible? How? Okay, I have another idea. What if I... I mean, there's no rails for it to go on, I guess. So that wouldn't really work. Oh, we need to be careful not to give them any items. Uh, I mean, this, this is this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. How is this possible? I'm scared to jump in there because they might end up killing me. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. I could just fly underneath and it didn't even do anything. Are you kidding me? How? <laughs> this is the stupidest issue I've ever, I've ever had to deal with. I, I cannot be... I cannot be bothered with this stuff. Are you... Are you serious? How is this possible? How are they stuck? <laughs> but <laughs> how? Um, I, I really cannot think of a solution either because I cannot remove the minecarts because they will pick up the minecarts. So, you know, that would destroy the whole thing here. So I'm really just confused about how I'm supposed to fix this issue right now. Like, I'm very, very confused about it. Maybe, you know what? I have an idea. I have a little bit of an idea. Uh, how how do you do that again? You get like something like this. And then you get a minecart, I suppose. And then that guy, right? Then we just need to make some charcoal, I suppose. Um, which we have some wood in the chest. So let's just make another furnace. I mean, we're going back to the basics here, but so oh well. Uh, yeah, there we go. We'll make some charcoal. We'll just make a nice amount, I guess. And then maybe this will work. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. It's worth a try. Uh, let's just see. Now, what I'm hoping here is that the map camp was not just filled because of these guys. I don't remember if I made... I'm pretty certain I made that thing first and then that thing, right? So surely it was already filled before those idiots showed up. Like surely. But I don't I don't know 100 percent certain, but I feel like that would be the case. I don't see how I would mess that up that badly. Oh well. We'll find out eventually, I guess. Right. Boom. There we go. So if I just do this, right? <laughs> no way. Are you kidding me? Alright, and if I send it out the other way. Oh, that doesn't even... Are you... Go the other way. Oh. Oh, it is not going the other way. And now I'm too scared to remove that one as well. Oh, I should have sent it the other way. I don't know. Oh. Oh, goodness. Now I need to make another one. I don't even know if that's going to solve it now. Because there's... Oh. oh what a problem. What a problem. Alright. Let's, let's see if we can make it go the other way I guess hold on maybe this will solve it I have no idea I mean at this point I'm just messing around with some very weird ideas I guess um, let's just push it that way there we go 
<laughs> it's just in there. What? Are you kidding me? It's not even. Oh no! Now it's just gonna. Oh, it's just gonna add to it. <laughs> yeah. Now I cannot even push it the other way. Are you kidding me? These things are worthless. They are not doing anything at all here. Okay. Um. All right. I have another idea. Oh, but that's not gonna work. Because I cannot place the rails there. That's the whole problem here. I cannot place those. I cannot replace the rails because, you know, then the zombie villagers will pick up the rails. Like, I cannot even remove this thing now because it's in the way. Oh, what an, what an issues. What an issues. And I'm too scared to use a boat as well because of the whole, you know, thingy jingy with that as well. Although, maybe that could work. Since they're still in the minecart, technically, um, can I do that? Or oh, it is a bit scary to do that, though. I cannot lie. But what if I do this? Can I get any of you guys? Oh, does that just not work? Is it the other way around? The boat needs to be in the minecart. I guess it's the other way around, right? All right, good to know. So this will not work. But then I'm really clueless on what to do next. Oh, did he just he just picked up the boat? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How did you just pick up the boat? That doesn't even make any sense. And I cannot push them at all. No, I cannot push them at all. Well, at least I can remove this mic from him now. Because he will not pick it up. And I guess I can do this now as well. Because he will not pick up anything. But how are you going that way? How am I not able to push this guy at all? Like, how is this guy stuck, even? If you know what I mean. Like, surely I could push him out. I mean, right now I'm not capable of doing anything. Surely you could go the other way. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I need to heal up for a second here. Ow! Jeez. They are really ridiculously strong. Like, I'm wearing full protection. So, well. Alright, so... Yeah, I can pick up that item now. There we go. He is now out. So, at least that's one out. But that did not seem to fix the issue at all. Like, at all. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And there's a slime there now as well. Um, I mean, this zombie village is now useless, by the way. Because, um, yeah, it's already removed from the mob cap. So I'm just gonna kill it. But this did not appear to have done anything at all. Alright, my issue is not decreased. This is no fun. This is no fun at all. Alright. I want to quickly sleep the night away. I don't actually know how to solve this issue at all right now. Let's quickly sleep and drink some more water. Uh, because, yeah. Yeah. Anything I can think of will just kind of break it again. I'm going to quickly check if no slime ball ended up in here. We might be lucky and this thing actually might not be a slime chunk anymore now. Because I've... Did build it in a different place, I guess. So maybe we're lucky. Yeah, I'm gonna assume we're lucky. Nice. Um, at least we're lucky with something then. But yeah, it's not good enough right now because this whole thing is not working anymore. I don't understand how the new minecart mechanics work at all because this. I think this was possible before. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I guess there's just too many things in there, but it doesn't make any sense. And let's see, what if I were to go here, right? Let's just try something here. I go here, here. And I do this, 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 this. This, and hope I just pick up the block. Okay, there we go. Alright, and now... Ow. Jeez, ow. Ow, what? They are so ridiculously strong and they got reach. This is unfair. Alright, um, I hope. Yeah, I guess this is not. This is gonna be on a daylight, so let's just quickly get some blocks off of it. There we go. Ow! Look at them! They got rechecks, man. They got heat rechecks. Alright. I guess we can power from here. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, it didn't do anything. Alright, there we go. That. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Are there any items? Okay, I don't think there's any items, so it's kind of fine. But let's just turn that off. Where did all of the minecarts go? Are you. Are you serious? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't fall 
in that area. There we go. Follow this area. Please. Oh, the minecarts are kind of just there? What on earth happened to the minecarts? I'm so confused. Right, I guess they are stuck right now. But also not really. What happened to all the other minecarts? There surely should be more minecarts. Because there were more... I mean, there's still more zombie villages. So where did all of the other minecarts go? I'm a bit confused now. And how is this still not fixing itself? Oh, that's also not doing anything anymore. Um, oh, I broke this. What? <laughs> how did I break it? Wait, I'm so confused with all of this stuff, man. Oh, uh, this, uh, this is the worst project I've ever taken on. Are you kidding me? How is this happening? <laughs> how is this even possible? Okay, let's... Um, uh, I don't even know anymore what to do. I'm actually so confused about all of this. I am actually so confused about all of this. I, yeah, straight up have not a singular clue how to fix this at all right now. I mean, what are they even doing over there? And how are they still stuck? Okay, let's just get some more mine guts in there. In order to pick up the guys that are walking right now. Because we definitely don't want to be having them walking around, I guess. Ah, that's a death threat. There we go. Um, you just... Yeah, you just go in there. Alright, he just went straight in there. And he also went in there. Alright, cool. So, yeah. Now, we just kind of have them in the same issue as they were in before. But just move over a couple of blocks, I guess. Which is not making any sense to me at all. Don't get me wrong here. I don't know how this is happening. But that appears to be sort of fixing it, I guess. Well, okay. Oh. So how is that happening? How? This doesn't make any sense to me. Why is that happening at all? Like, can they just not make corners anymore? Or, 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 or what? Like, why? Why can I not make corners anymore? And now I can really not get them out of this anymore, I don't think. Because they're really stuck there. Oh, I hate this. I hate this a lot. I do hate this a lot. This is ridiculous. This was not an issue before with minecarts. I swear this has never happened before with minecarts. Why did they change it in such a weird way? I mean, I like the speed increase, don't get me wrong. That definitely was quite amazing. But now this... This I don't understand. This I do not understand. Um, let's see. Thing is, I'm so scared to like make them pick up blocks as well. That's the problem. Um, there we go. That's like the problem here. So, yeah. They're just gonna pick up the block here, I guess. Maybe... Yeah, okay, got it. Um, right, I guess I, I have pick up prior priority over them. So that's good. Uh, but yeah. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's just see what happens when I do this then. Because uh, I guess it's something. Right, they appear to be doing something now. And they're all out. Okay, cool. So they're all out now. Let's, you know, let's take this one step at a time. Let's at least see if since they are out right now, that means that they um, actually go back to the normal map cap or that the map cap is filled. I guess these are all of the minecarts, right? That's what I'm going to assume. All right, let's just see. So how can I really test this? That's the question. Oh, I don't know. I mean, if it was nighttime, that would have been a little bit better. But I'm going to assume that still nothing is spawning anywhere in the world. So when I fly away a little bit, everything that has spawned should despawn. Meaning that the moment I come back, if anything can spawn, it should spawn. In which is only slimes or creepers. So if I'm not able to see any creepers or slimes right now, then I'm going to assume it worked. Unless there's like mobs in this little jungle here. Because it's probably at some point in here dark enough. Like at some point there's a good chance. But mm, nothing appears to be in here. 
That is maybe not actually dark enough. I guess it was night time a second ago, so that's why they spawned in there. But yeah, nothing is in here. That's at least step one. Right? Yeah, okay. Nothing is in there. Nothing appears to be in here, and I don't see any slimes anywhere either. So I'm gonna assume the mob cap is now filled again. So that's good. At least we didn't lose that, so to say. But now we got this. Um, and I'll, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit scared of this, so to say. But yeah, it's, it's fine. What I think might also be an issue is just the blocks being next to them, so to say. Like that could be part of the issue here. I'm a bit scared of those blocks right now. Um, let's just see if I do this. Boom. There we go. And then I go over here. Get this one powered as well. And what's happening when I do that? Okay, so we don't have actually all of the minecarts filled. Or all of the zombies picked up. But I'm gonna assume that's just because they were not close enough. Yeah, there we go. And you. Okay, so that one is still missing. But that's this minecart. Okay, so... Ah, uh, what? <laughs> what, is that just like the limit? Like that that one guy could not join them? Is that what's happening here or is it something else? That's the question, of course. Uh, let's turn this one on again. I now kind of know how to fix this at least. Mm -hmm. There we go. Really? That doesn't fix it? How's that not fixing it? I mean, these guys shouldn't be stuck here, right? Like, I can just notch them. Oh, now they're, st <laughs> now they're stuck together. All right, cool. Uh, all right, that is not appearing to fix it right now. Um, that is not fixing it either, of course. Uh, boom. Ah, ow, ow, ow. All right, that fixed it at least. Um, no. What? Oh, oh yeah, of course. Uh, how do I get these guys to do normal? Ow. I know I'm going over the time, by the way. I know, I know. But I just want this to work right now. I think that one singular um, minecart might actually be the limit, so I'm gonna get rid of... Don't go into any hoppers. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Um, I wanna see how... Can, there we go. Um, how... There. Oh, yeah. Right. Ow, ow. Uh, can I not just push you? Oh, there we go. I can push them. Alright, cool. How is he still stuck? He's alone now. I don't fully understand how he's still stuck. There we go. Uh, wow, I'm going through my golden carrots, actually. Okay, so now... There we go. That fixed them. For some reason, that guy got stuck, but I'm going to assume that he gets sent back around. There we go. There we go. All right. That appears to have fixed it, actually. Um, of course, they're picking, picking them up, but they're getting sent out immediately as well. So that's good. Ow. They're not being sent out. What? Okay, there we go. I was about to say. So now that whole system is working. But the minecarts are not one. So I feel like that might actually break it again. Oh, I'm a bit scared to turn this off right now. Because, you know, I feel like that would break it immediately. Uh, we're going to give it a shot, though. I mean, that appears to be working. But yeah, it's not, though. Like, oh, no. Yeah, they get stuck. Why Why do they get stuck? I guess that was not the amount of minecarts that was really the problem. Let's sleep and drink some water again. I really want this to be fixed. I don't know if it... Uh, it appears... To, it, 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 it's just a problem with the corners. Which is making this issue that much more annoying. I mean, I guess I could send them back and forth right here only. And then send them around the corner. But... It, yeah, I guess we need to do that then, right? All right. Um, start off with that. 
Yeah, I guess that's the only way to fix that. I think. Um, mm. If I do this. Ow, 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 no, 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 there we go, all right. Almost started killing them there. I don't want that to happen. Um, how can I even power that drill now? Oh, they uh, somehow managed to do it themselves. What on earth even happened there? All right, let's turn this one off. That, that, that didn't even change anything. Why are they, they got so much speed? All right, it doesn't matter, I guess. Um, yeah, now all I need to do in theory is just to get those rails connected up to that. There we go. That should push them on. Alright, the minecarts are stuck here again. Which is not even really a corner anymore. Which is surprising, but alright. If I just push you in the opposite direction. Oh, no, we are now just stuck with them, I guess. Um, and if I push you on it... I mean, it's going the wrong way, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> alright. Cool. Um, I guess it just makes it worse. Yeah, alright. Whatever. Um, let's see. Can I not push you the other way anymore? Wow, I cannot even push him the other way anymore. Alright, you go on it. There you go. <laughs> alright. Bruh. Uh, this is the dumbest issue I've ever had in Minecraft. I cannot even lie to you right now. I am so confused about this new minecart mechanic stuff. I just don't. Ow, 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 ow. That is bad. Yeah, he's dead. Alright. Um. <laughs> oh, look at those minecarts go. <laughs> That's, oh, my goodness. This is so stupid. Okay, at least you didn't fly off. I hope it's still enough zombies to not fill the mob cap. Um, but I don't know for certain. Why can I not place a block there? That's a bit weird. I mean, he's not on that block, but oh well. Um, yeah, okay, so we got rid of the minecarts now. Which is cool. Can I just... Oh. Ooh, yeah, that... That is my fault, I will admit to that. Um, anyway. Alright, there we go. He's now on there. Let's turn that thing off. I st what I'm hoping here is that there's still enough zombies here that it will turn on the mob cap. I'm gonna leave this project right here. I think I know how to fix this, but I mean, I don't have the time for it in today's episode at all anymore. Did this thing break? Oh, it blew itself up. Wait, what? Oh, you gotta be... I flew away and unloaded the chunks. Oh my... What a disaster of an episode this is. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, oh, all those things probably ended up in here as well now, right? Oh, no. I guess not. Is this thing empty of kelp? Alright, that's good. It's empty of kelp. That's what we want. Did it all end up in here? Um. Oh, what? I guess... Not. Wait, what? Where did all of the items go? Surely some of the items that got blown up got sent in here. But I guess not. What? That's a bit confusing. Would have expected something to end up in there, unless it somehow managed to sneak past here. I guess I gotta check all of these hoppers real quick, but I don't think it happened. Oh, I'm really quite confused by how all of this has occurred, but okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, alright, you know what? I'm gonna end the episode right here. It's been a bit of a disaster. I cannot lie to you right now. But um, we made some progress in some ways. So that's something. Yeah. I guess it's something. Anyway, I do have to end it right here. Because we went way over the time limit. Next episode we gotta fix all of this. It still hasn't rained or snowed. So because that's a plus point. We get to spend some more time in Overworld. Uh, but yeah, this uh, wow. I do apologize for all of this. Anyway, I do hope you still all enjoyed it. And as always, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. So for now, goodbye.